Good morning to you all. I'm still looking in the room upstairs, sorting out phones. This one I thought was a Japanese one. How wrong I was. I probably haven't looked at it for several years. But anyway, I took it down from the shelf, dusted away the antique dust, which was covering it, and discovered it was actually made by Tesla and it's the model called T65S T65S made in Czechoslovakia this one is dated 1973 so it's not ancient it's 73 and looking it up on eBay and that there's quite a few of these uh, been advertised in the past um, so it was obviously quite a popular phone. I haven't taken the inserts out. There's no point, it's so suffice to say, that's obviously the receiver and transmitter. Well-made phone, actually. It is a well-made phone. Um, normally, you sometimes think of the, uh, the, uh, the phones made in the eastern part of Europe has not been too good but this one is certainly well made with the Tesla name obviously Tesla's got a well known name uh, apart from liking pigeons he did virtually invent the AC system particularly in high voltage transmissions all the transmissions that you see on pylons and that are AC. That is basically down to his findings, much to the displeasure of Edison. Anyhow, enough of the history. Let me show you the pieces inside. I don't need any explanation, but I will. Uh, you've got your, your bell coil. The bell coil is very neat because it's got underneath an adjuster so it either turns it off or on. You've got that part is a magnet, probably a cobalt magnet, but it's the magnet that polarizes it and makes it work. Next to it, you've got your Induction coil, anti-side tone, and also it gives you the value of each winding and what the winding's made of, CU being copper. And it tells you where all the terminations are. Um, which is quite good. And now next to that, or further down, you've got your two capacitors obviously used in the ringing. Whether they're still usable, I don't know. I haven't tried this, this, this phone for years. There is an age cracking along the side. I think there's an age cracking on both of them. Um, obviously, they may be faulty, they may not. You've got the name on the side there, Tesla. The little part here is the cradle switch as you put the receiver on. The lever comes down, or the press is down, operates this. And never seen one quite like this before, but it's if I can show you it working, it's awkward with one, one hand. Well, wait a while. You can see the contacts there being broken as the handset goes back. That would press down. So that's the way they do that. Very basic di uh, circuits, no frills or anything. You do have a device there 
I believe it's an anti-click device. Although that's on your um, other dial. The dial itself, we've seen these before. This is the same style as fitted to the Autophone and that Pi 700 clone that I've got. Uh, these were invented or were brought out by Siemens Husky. Obviously other makers made them. I uh, don't know who, who made this one. I'm not going to take it out because it's the, the cover's sealed. In beautiful condition, working perfectly. These dials are quite good. I know some people don't like them, but as far as I'm concerned, they do the job. And they're the ones that build up speed. So if you're dialing one, you'll actually send out two pulses, but one of the pulses is masked. And the idea of this is to make sure the dial is at the right speed before being sent out, which is quite an idea. I can show you it working. And I say I do need extra hands. See the part that goes around there. And the lever, which or spring, which you can see there, drops in and stops it at the right place. Also, never forget the importance of the diagram. Sorry about the wire floating across it. I'll try and, try and get it out of the way. I don't know if I can. There's your diagram not very clear sorry about that the number up there on the top the T653S that's your diagram which is nice uh, the diagram with it and obviously the terminals that are used You've got your handset terminals and the line called terminals. Let's have a look at the other side of the base. It's a metal base. You've got your adjuster for the bell, the name, Tesla showing the normal trademark that he used and also show those on loads of other electrical things coming from Czechoslovakia. I remember years ago they imported a load of light bulbs from Czechoslovakia and they had that same symbol on there. The year 1973. This is a well-made phone actually. There's nothing cheap and rubbishy about it. It is well made. Proper screws which go into holes which are got inserts, brass inserts. They're well thought. There's some writing there. That I believe is, is the town where they're made. sort of painted with this um, crinkle type paint they made, a, they made a nice finish of these and your little grill holes to let the bell sound out show you the quick inside is the um, to operate this part again anyhow I think that's more or less all I've got to say on this well made phone the bell has got also made a copper which you'd expect 
I imagine 1450 to 12 is probably the homage. It doesn't actually show it as we would normally see a thousand homes or something like that, but that was, I'd be pretty clear that that is the actual homage. Anyone's got any comments, please make. You can see the bell fixings are not central. That's done for a reason. These bells are, are adjusted okay. But the reason for that is so that you got a nice ting where the hammer, this part down there, doesn't rest on the bell. It hit strikes it and then lifts off immediately. So you get a nice clean ting. And by adjusting the bell, by unscrewing these, loosen them, twisting the gong round, you can get the exact fitting or the exact position. Anyhow, that's more or less all I've got to say about this. Once again, thanks for watching. Any problem, any um, information, any comments, please make. I'll try and get back to you. Once again, many, many thanks. Thank you.